93 WIPC Mobile News. On the level, on the go. He'll be back in Indy in just a few hours with your Alexa Flash Briefing. I'm John Herrick. Air Force Two arrives in Indianapolis this morning with the Vice President and the First Lady. Mike and Karen Pence are visiting their home state to talk about higher education with leaders at Marion University about reopening institutions. They will be there later this morning. They arrive at 1030. Wish TV's Drew Blair reporting. That's something Pence has already talked about this week when he was in South Carolina. But I can tell you with my wife seated right here, if our kids were elementary school age or high school or college, we wouldn't hesitate to send them back to school. And then Pence is supposed to head out later this afternoon and go back to D.C. after his speech. Beach. Coronavirus restrictions have become tighter in Marion County, Stan Lear reports. Another 954 Hoosiers with the coronavirus Thursday was the most reported in a single day so far. New restrictions take effect Friday in Marion County, where Health Director Dr. Virginia Kane says. The age of infection that we're seeing has also shifted. More and more young people are contracting the virus. The new rules at WIBC.com. Stan Lear, 93 WIBC Mobile News. Two people arrested and two were injured in a shooting that happened late Thursday night on North Pennsylvania Street, one block east of Monument Circle. IMPD says it happened outside the Big Red Liquor Store when one fight led to another fight, which caused the shooting. The City of Peace Coalition is having a peace march at 6 tonight, beginning at 34th and Keystone. Faith leaders, community leaders, Mayor Joe Hogsett, IMPD, and others in the community will be taking part to speak about the death. Uh, the City of Peace Coalition is having a peace march tonight at 6, beginning at the intersection of 34th and Keystone. Faith leaders, community leaders, Mayor Joe Hogsett, IMPD, and others in the community will be taking part. Sticking by his officers, Kurt Darling reports the chief of Indy's police department wants you to understand why his officers did what they did the night of the riots. IMPD is being sued by the ACLU over its use of tear gas that night. They say it was excessive and violated protesters' First Amendment rights. Chief Randall Taylor tells Wish TV. I think you have the right to protest and the you know, right to be heard, and I get that. Uh, but if you're going to start throwing things at my officers or tearing up downtown, well, then, then we, have to, we have to take some kind of action to stop that. Several businesses were heavily damaged when protests turned into riots that night, forcing officers to use tear gas to disperse unruly crowds. Kirk Darling, 93 WYBC Mobile News. The No Ban Act was passed by the U.S. House. It would make what some people refer to as the Muslim ban illegal. Chris Davis reports on why the bill may not make it to the Senate. And that means the president wouldn't be presented with a bill to make his own travel ban illegal. We all know that the Muslim ban didn't happen in a vacuum. Congressman Andre Carson in a Thursday news conference. Uh, it is the painful result of the prejudice of the people uh, that have that have held these biases against against Muslims here in America, in the Middle East, Africa, Asia, Europe, and around the world. It was the president's promise in 2017 when he signed the executive order to slow down immigration from countries that may have supported terrorist acts against the U.S. Chris Davis, 93 WIBC Mobile News. Two sports teams at Beach Grove High School are on quarantine after a possible coronavirus exposure. A post on the school's Facebook page says they were notified of a positive test Wednesday. Quarantine for the football and boys basketball teams are last for 14 days. Boat and RV makers in Indiana get some of the benefit from the Great American Outdoors Act passed by Congress earlier this week. It will support RV and boat manufacturers and their workers, promote conservation, and revitalize our national parks. Congresswoman Jackie Walorski of Northern Indiana says the bill supports outdoor recreation, which means supporting Hoosier jobs in those industries. It also provides money to fix up Indiana dunes and other national parks. WIB C's flash briefings are updated throughout the day, so you can always check for the latest local news. You can also rejoin us in the car at 93.1 FM to stay on top of the latest traffic alerts, weather, and news. I'm Sean Herrick on the level, on the go, and on Twitter at 93 WIBC and WIBC.com.